we're going to work on um, some pants and I'm going to show you what the end result looks like uh, when we get into uh, Maya. So obviously we'll probably bring this into uh, ZBrush and really quickly you can see it's uh, triangulate, it's not quad. So once we bring it into ZBrush, you're going to go up on the level of your uh, polygon count and start sculpting it. But this is uh, definitely, uh, we're going to have to re this. Uh, material and then also I wanted to show you what happens when you don't flip uh, your pattern over uh, the normals get uh, confused and you can see it turns uh, to black so uh, if we look on the inside of the pants the normals are facing the right direction just uh, so you can see what that looks like so but you can see our pants uh, coming out pretty good um, get a little bit of draping effect I'll show you how to do that um, and marvelous so let's go ahead and get started um, I think I've already shown you uh, a character that you can use inside of a ZBrush. And again, I just selected it, exported uh, her as an OBJ. There are um, avatars inside of Marvelous that you can use, but they're not specific to the one that you guys are modeling for your character. So um, I know a couple of students have a really long, lanky uh, character, very skinny, and then like you to definitely incorporate your clothes as part of that structure. And also it helps it, makes it easier in Maya when you append and make sure everything snaps into uh, place correctly. All right, I'm gonna quit uh, ZBrush. I don't need that. And let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go um, up the tab and go to Marvel so you can kind of see really quickly uh, what I did for the pants. Very, very simple. Uh, again, I just want you guys to practice one uh, garment. Uh, Every, every night uh, or twice a, a week and so these are just very simple pants very similar to uh, the shirt and so let's go ahead and get started so I'm going to start with a whole new document uh, and you can see the whole pipeline okay so no 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 and I kill uh, Maya to Kill uh, Safari. All right, see everything on my desktop. All right, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and start. And I think my character uh, kind of came in uh, from last time. And all I did was uh, file and import this avatar. This is the one uh, from ZBrush that was using as kind of a default uh, character. All right, so um, let's go ahead and get started. And uh, if you've done the t-shirt, this should be a very similar uh, pipeline. So what we're gonna do is go to our uh, polygon tool and we're just gonna make some uh, pants. And so I had some low riders. I didn't realize uh, that I need to kind of start a little bit higher for the pant line. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, it should snap in the center. Kind of go out and kind of hug shape a couple of hips here go down to the pants and if you want to make them loose that's great uh, I go up here and zoom in and uh, what I'm going to do is click in this area right here in the crotch and then come over and click and bend Kind of like what we do in Illustrator, click and hold to make your curve set. Let go, and if you go up like that, it's gonna make a loopy loop. Let's go ahead, make this into a yellow, and that'll make it into a right hand turn. All right, so I go ahead and go up here to the end, and you see it's kind of gone over to the, um, the right here. So uh, what I'm gonna do is go to my edit tool. I'm gonna go ahead and, oops, not do that. So you can command Z to undo. Um, I'm gonna see if I can select this, this one dot and make it snap there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go to my object and then make that snap there. Um, should, let's see if we can get this to work this time. Should be able to uh, go into this tool right here. This is the edit tool for uh, the vertex. And you guys were asking about symmetry. So I'm gonna cheat here. And instead of sewing uh, two of these pant legs together, I'm gonna do unfold. 
All right, and that creates uh, one big uh, pantsuit here. All right, so what we're going to do, um, go to my selection here, and uh, could flare these out a little bit more, uh, but we've already unfolded it. So we're going to go into our 3D view and just push this back just a bit. Okay, push it back till it starts to collide and then pull it back. And select this and hit Command C and Command V or copy and paste. And you can see uh, there's a second pair of pantsuits here. And I'm going to go ahead and right click and flip horizontally. Okay, and I don't know what happened here. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and go ahead and pull it back into place. Select it, and again, you know, the weird interface here, right click to uh, rotate. And I think it's option if you need to uh, move it around, oscillate it versus rotate. And then we go here and pull this down so they're similar. Screw that up somehow. It should have been right on top of it, and all I had to do is uh, pull it back, but it moved it off to the side. Again, if you don't have world uh, gizmo, go to world coordinates. Okay. If you're on screen coordinates, uh, this is going to be almost nearly impossible to move this back. All right, uh, we're going to move this back, and my computer's getting slow uh, from the recording. Pull back here. Okay. And I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to uh, go to my tool right here, and I'm going to go and see if I can select them one at a time and convert these all to curves. Okay. Don't need to do the top ones because those can be straight or the, the waistband. Uh, ah. All right, select the point, sorry, and right click, convert to point. Right click, convert to point. Ah, convert to point. All right, so it's good, it's nice uh, fluid. I think these are pretty straight lines, but I'd like to have seen a little bit more shape to that. All right, so we've got them side by side. Uh, let's go to our selection tool. And I don't know what happened here. Not sure if I flipped that or not. I hope I did. Don't remember. Um, if you didn't, just make sure uh, you go right click uh, and hit uh, flip horizontally. And again, I don't remember if I did that or not. Um, so I did that. Uh, again, you need to go back and convert these to curves too. Should have done that before we uh, duplicate it so we didn't have to double. Uh, work on this. All right. All right. Zoom in, zoom out. Okay. All right, let's give this a shot now. What we want to do is uh, go ahead and start stitching it. So we're going to go to our stitch tool. Which I forget, is this it? Yes. So we're going to go, so it's all one big long stitch, which it makes it a little bit easier. And let's stitch it, and uh, automatically I did it incorrect. So FLZ or Command Z or undo, however you want to do it. So let's go from across the border there, uh, rotate, and as a right uh, button click. And let's go ahead and sew again. Okay, and now let's do uh, the inner thigh here. Okay, make sure we're doing this right. Make sure it's not, I think it did it right. This is a little bit harder. You'll have to zoom in and out of here. So if we had uh, continued our curves uh, down here, this would have been a, a continuous one like uh, what happened above. All right, let's do that again. Okay, make sure that it doesn't flip uh, around like I did before. 
Okay, so rotate it, make sure there's no really weird stuff going on. Uh, we go ahead and hit simulate, upper left hand corner. I've never tried to save this, so you may want to save it. All right, here we go, some uh, tight pants, it's still draping. All right, she is done. All right, uh, one feature I did not show you guys is, uh, yep, I forgot to flip that. So that probably needs to flip, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I did mention it, so this isn't my final pass. So the uh, cool thing is you can uh, make adjust adjustments to this. You can have this pick feature to add uh, kind of a drape look uh, to make it a little bit more not cool, that's so cool. All right, um, so what we wanna do is, is still a little bit low uh, riders. Um, so we wanna add a little waistband to that. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out. I do not like the zoom in out feature. Let's see if the oscillate works. So holding down the option, uh, turn into a hand and then get into position. All right, so what I'm gonna do is go up to uh, my polygon tool and my, my computer's getting really slow now. Hopefully it doesn't crash. And if I go over here, and snap, snap, snap. Hopefully it turns it into a um, form. I'll go ahead and Push this in place. Okay. All right. Don't have to go too far with that. And then uh, Command C, Command V. And I'm gonna go ahead, push this one. Oops, nope, nope, don't do that. Uh, Command uh, Z. So I wanna see if that did uh, duplicate it. Oh, it did not. All right, so make sure you're over on this side, Command C, Command V, or copy and paste. And I'm gonna move this over to here. You see how sluggish my computer is getting this kind of snap into place. And these have to be uh, the same size. So you can see those snapping, those little uh, red lines were very helpful in getting it in the right size. There's ways of clicking on this line and they'll tell you down to the millimeter uh, how accurate you need this. All right, so uh, again, uh, I probably flipped this horizontal, but I, I've already screwed it up, so I'm not going to do it. But definitely right click and flip it if you had done your other one correctly. I'll pull this back and pull this over, get it in place somewhat. Right click, pull this out. Okay. Over. All right, so we've got that in here. Let's go ahead and uh, stitch it together. So we're gonna use our stitch tool and come to here. Let's see if we can click on twice. Doesn't like that. All right, so we're gonna uh, Command Z and we'll go to my edit tool and see if we can get rid of that dot. All right, I'm gonna right click and delete point. All right, so now we go to our stitch tool, let's see if it works. Okay, looks great. And we'll have to do the same on the other side. I'm gonna hit my option and left mouse. And then I'm gonna go here, delete a point. Delete point, uh, for some reason it didn't delete. Delete point, try that again. Uh, go to my stitch tool. Okay, rotate around, make sure it's not uh, doing anything weird. Again, option and left uh, to move. And we're gonna try to stitch these together at the side. All right, top and uh, top here. Okay, see it's working correctly. And we'll do this on the other side. I'm gonna hit option and left mouse to kind of pull it over without having to zoom in and out. Okay. 
again, you should probably save. I'm not going to be able to do that. So, uh, great. Install my Java. Great. All right. All right, there we go. Some beautiful pants. Uh, as you can see, uh, we added this really beautiful belt line. And if you wanted to add like a zipper line, we could have done that instead of uh, doing that unfold feature that I did. So again, uh, these are pretty tight uh, pants. So I think if you pull out, I don't think anything major is gonna happen, but we have kind of a, a big flare on these pants. So we can pull those out. All right, one last feature I want to show you guys is how to export this out. Uh, I may not be doing this correctly, but really quickly I'll show you how I figured it out earlier. I'm going to go to export. This is really sluggish. And we're going to desktop. And we're going to call these uh, a, 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 a underscore pants. So it's going to show up uh, at the top. I've got a lot of stuff on my desktop. I know I need to clean up. So I'm going to hit save. Okay. The big thing right here is that you have uh, selected all patterns. Uh, if you had a shirt, the, you would turn off the shirt. You want to uh, kick them out separately. Now, right now, I have my avatar selected. Make sure that's not selected because you don't want to bring the avatar over into uh, Maya. You just want the pants, okay? Uh, but this should snap into where the avatar was earlier. Uh, you can go back to uh, millimeters. Uh, play around with this because your, your avatar may be set at millimeters. So you want this to go back and to it, so it can fit so it's not overly big. So when I hit OK, we're going to go into uh, Maya real quick. So give it a second uh, to open it up. Okay. So now we're going to bring in our pants. Again, uh, this is going to come in weird because the normals are facing the wrong way. We're going to go uh, import. And my computer is really sluggish. All right, so we're going to go field to I'll give it a couple more seconds. If not, we're going to stop the video here just in case. Okay, import, I think we called it A, 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 so it shows up at the top here. A, A, A pants, not the dot MTL, but the pants import. Okay, there's our pants. And I did it in millimeters, it should have been in centimeters. Now I can see it's way wicked big. This is the grid down here. All right, so there's our start of our pants. Um, again, the normals, we should have flipped the pants around. Uh, but you can see, you click on it. It's a pretty low polygon count, but obviously not ready for rigging or anything fancy like that. All right, uh, go ahead and give that a shot and good luck. And again, try to make that belt line. And if you want to get fancy, you can add a seam line for the bottom for the, the sewing on the bottom. All right, good luck.